Hi guys, I'm Rahul and welcome back to our FAQ series. Fish keeping questions answered. <laughs> so, uh, one more thing which I missed out and I think uh, our previous video is that all the FAQ videos, there are there's going to be timestamps. So, if there's a specific question you like, uh, click on the timestamps, what you see on the in the bottom and uh, you can jump to a specific question if you guys want to check it out. Okay, so let's jump into today's first one. Today's first uh, question is from... Uh, Devikesh, uh, it, this is a video which is posted in our uh, discus jump video. <laughs> uh, can I use complete RO water, um, RO vo volume of uh, water in a tank? And if not, please share the ratio of uh, another or other options. Thank you. Okay, uh, so I have made a video on how to keep discus and uh, water parameters uh, Devikesh. In that, I have shown uh, the reasons of why we can, how we can mix the RO. RO use, we use RO completely for breeding. So, where the TDS should be below 80 ppm and not very low also between 40 to 80. Uh, so, that is a good uh, for breeding of discus. Uh, when it goes to your grow tanks, you can actually go up to 200 ppm. So, if your uh, tap water is more and you have an RO unit, you can mix the ratio. So, I personally, what I do, I take a glass and uh, fill maybe so much of uh, normal water and then RO and then leave it for some time, mix it well and then check. So, then you know the ratio. So, it's very simple to get a TDS of 200. You can mix, maybe it has to be a 50, 30. 50 50 uh, can be a 70 30 depending on your location so you can just check that out so uh, use a tds meter and mix both and uh, get this to this level of 200 ppm is good for keeping discus uh, there is a video about uh, water parameters for discus which i have made i leave the link in the cards so do check it out so next one uh, this question is from jitin uh, hi Jitin. Hello, I watched all your videos when I get time. Big inspiration. Thank you. Even got a TDS uh, meter after watching your video. Started uh, testing the TDS recently. Is 300 to 350 fine? Uh, is 300 to 350 fine for keeping discus and others? Other? Okay, Jitin. Firstly, thank you for your uh, uh, for that. If I am inspiring, and thank you so much for saying that uh, good words about me. Thank you. Uh, first things first, 300 TDS is a little high for any fish. Specifically discus, it is definitely high. So, I would personally say bring it down to 200. That's what was my previous uh, question answer also similar. So, uh, bring it down to 200. See, discus can stay in higher TDS, but again, you should find out from where you're getting the discus. Okay, so if you're getting the discus from a place which was born and bought up in a 100 TDS and you suddenly put it into a 300 TDS, it will be in stress. So, that will be an issue. So, that is something we need to find out when we are getting this, when we are getting discus from where we are getting it. And eventually, you bring it to 300 is okay. The sudden change over, right, from 100 to 300, that is the problem. That is where your discus gets into issues. So, find out like from where you're buying what is the tds uh, your the fish has been kept till now see when you're buying a two inch fish it is almost about uh, six months old so that is born and bought up in a certain tds level so that is something we need to find out and then you put uh, slowly bring it up so once you get it to your house you keep it at 100 uh, depending on where you're buying it and then you bring it up to 300 no problem with before that don't do it don't do that instant thing always check from what tds the fish was kept for a long time and then decide on uh, the other things okay let's jump into the next one uh this is from harshal this is on our hang on filter video uh, where uh, the canister hang on filter where harshal has asked will this be good enough for three uh, 36 into 15 into 12 um, okay i've already answered this question in the in the comment but i'm just making the video because there are other people who have the similar doubt yeah so the hang on canister filter is uh ideal uh it's got an output of three eight hundred liters per hour so first things first uh, i would personally say watch the video of what my filtration i leave the link on top it's a one hour video i have explained in detail how filtration has to be calculated what is the ideal, ideal filtration what is the nitrogen cycle everything is there that do have a look at that and in certain filters and uh, there is also a video about different types of filters which i have made uh, where you can see if the pump is outside the if it, the filters pump is outside which is not a submerged filter i mean the pump that obviously needs water to be filled in every time it is off. 
so if the pump is inside uh, inside or submerged in the water it will automatically crank up when the power comes back or when you switch it back on so what happens in any filter automatically when the filter is off the filled water inside the filter comes out back into the tank so the filter is dry so if the pump is outside it needs water to for the impeller to start sucking the water so that is what we support by pouring water so every filter which doesn't have the pump inside the submerged inside the tank inside the fish tank needs to be added the water needs to be added into the filter every time it is off and on yeah other ways to do it is sometimes some filters if you keep the water level really high up then the water will remain inside the filter that will still help but majority of the times difficult so if you have a place uh, where you're going to have a lot of power cuts i would personally say go for a submerged pump so when the power goes and comes back uh, the uh, what do you say the pump starts back on no problem right yeah let's jump on to the next one so this is again from navneet yashwant again this is on our uh, hang on filter maintenance video uh, where they have asked can this be used for a two feet tank okay first things first you need to understand how to calculate your filtration okay i've made this again this is the second time i'm saying this in the same faq uh, that's the flow i'm really sorry but maybe i should keep this for the next one but anyway understand what is uh, filtration and uh, to do that you need to calculate your water volume so first calculate get the width depth and height of your fish tank go on to google you can just type calculate aquarium uh, you know volume type in you'll get how much how many liters of water your tank is holding after that you decide you have to get 7 to 10 times your water volume so most of your hang on filters have 300 liters per hour 500 800 1200 so many varieties are there so based on that suppose you have a 100 liter tank you look for a 700 to 1000 liter per hour output let it be hang on let it be canister whatever so that is how you plan your filtration so it's not like this filter is good in rahul's tank so it will be good in my tank no it doesn't work like that so every filtration every fish tank filtration has to be calculated accordingly so please understand your water volume after that you decide on what filter you want to use okay let's jump into the next one so the next one is from dinesh kumar what should be the quantity of beneficial bacteria to be added in 100 liter tank i could not able to get correct information please guide me okay every beneficial bacteria okay one is beneficial bacteria first thing is a natural thing it has to grow on its own and this question is in my marine tank setup video so uh first things first is beneficial bacteria every bottle like stability there are so many varieties of things what what you get like this is uh ccam stability so stability what we need to add for 40 liters we need to add one cap for 40 liters one cap so you have api quick start which is again different dosage so what you're using so this is basically going these kind of products are definitely going to help you in uh fastening the beneficial bacteria process so every product is like ccam has got its own way api has got different aquatic remedies has got different so everything will be written in the bottle in the back so it's not like ccam api everything is same so this is one one cap one cap for 40 liters so 100 liters you have to add two and a half caps so that is what is a beneficial bacterial liquid and this need not be added every time it has to be added only for a week time when you're starting your aquarium when you're starting a new aquarium after seven days or eight days it will be written i think uh, stability it is for the first seven days se seven days yeah so once you reach the seven day um, section you don't need to uh, add the uh, stability every time and uh, next i would recommend is if you're uh, doing a big water change and cleaning out your filter media that time you add uh, stability or any of these beneficial bacteria products is good so that's the end of today's uh, faq so hope i could answer like today I answered five uh, <laughs> so every uh, every faq i'm trying to uh, pick out questions and interesting topics uh, where i can uh, answer your questions uh, so do uh, comment and uh, drop in your comments and question onto our faq uh, videos so it makes it more easier and on screen you'll be seeing the uh, other uh, faq uh, videos which we already made so do check that out it's, there's a playlist which is listed and uh, 
yeah i used to say this before i'm starting to say it again this hobby is really fun if you do it the right way and i'm here to try to help you out to do the hobby in the right way <laughs> yeah it didn't come out well <laughs> anyways so thanks a lot for watching and uh, stay safe uh, until our next video bye bye